Hello, cozy friends. How are we this week? Let me actually start the game. How about that? I think I broke my glasses like literally right before. I just like grabbed shit like a sumo wrestler. I just no, no delicacy, no care. I'm also looking like a glazed donut today. Just did my skincare. <laughs> All right, y'all. I said my goal last time was just walnuts, right? Just purely walnuts. And maybe doing the volcano. It scares me though, the volcano scares me. Cheers, by the way, bloop. We have Mr. Man today. I'm so scared, I'm terrified, but I should go. It's time. My animals be damned, you know? I thought I put the galaxy hammer away. No! <sighs> Y'all, my last day didn't save. I knew. I turned it off and I was like, damn, did I fully go to sleep before I Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go see what I did and make sure I do everything that I did on the last day. Ugh, hold on. Alright, excitedly coming back to say I didn't I didn't do anything. It was the flower dance, so that's a perfect day to miss because essentially you just do I did the animals, I went to the flower dance, and you come home for the night and that's about it. So that's what I'm about to do. It's got two ribs, dang. And I will be back after. Okay, okay, ay ay ay. And we're back, that was easy. I did feel like I was speed running Stardew Valley all of a sudden, but it is what it is. Oh, my steel watering can is ready. Now I can bring these things to Clint. Ooh, we have Pierre's birthday and Emily's birthday. Interesting. Where did I get a bomb from? Okay, let's take the gold so we can upgrade it immediately. I have to buy hay, but I don't think Marnie, I don't think Marnie's open right now, unfortunately. Let's see how my ancient seed are doing. No, not yet. So close, I feel it. Oh, I forgot about the 100,000 whatever pieces of wood. All right, babies. Where the hell did that tree come from? hey -o! Just in time to go to Clint's. Thank you. I'm not sure why Marnie's is the one shop I cannot remember the times for. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks so much. Now upgrade it to gold. Thanks. No, I'm an idiot. Ugh. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. I was gonna restart the day and I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't handle it. I can't do it. So I'm just gonna wait until the watering can's done and then I'm gonna open the geodes and the, the, co the coconut. I don't know why, but the quarry is calling to me. I feel like I need to go check it, so I'm gonna go. You know what um, is a topic that is interesting to me as of late? Because my whole life, I'm very skeptical of things. I'm just like the, the town skeptic. My mom was always the person who anytime, literally anything was said, she was playing devil's avocado and always, always, always like making sure that we did the same thing. And that was just a practice of hers to like, I don't even know if it was intentional, but she was just kind of like question everything always. And that's stupid. That's dumb when it came to kind of like woo woo things. Um, so I both came to like naturally be a skeptic of things and then also just like question regular things. Doesn't matter. Not relevant. What is relevant is the woo woo things because as I've grown up, I've been like, you know what? I understand, like, I am naturally a skeptic. I naturally don't believe any of these things. Who is it hurting to just like entertain the thoughts of some of these things sometimes, which is like how I feel about astrology. Like a lot of my friends are really into astrology and I'm literally never, ever, ever gonna be like, that's stupid, that's dumb. It's like, who, the, who cares, who knows? It's fun, let's talk about it. Recently, I listened to a podcast. There's some things that I'm like, I, I just won't entertain like yeah i'm not gonna the earth is not flat nope but there are some things that i'm like oh so interesting to think about and like uh, a real me like underneath it all is always like no that's not a thing it's not a thing but you know idealistic woo woo little little version of me alter ego is like you know like what, what if what if anyways roundabout way to get to the point that I was listening to a podcast that's Rotten Mango. Probably talked about it. Oh, I got 300 wood just from that. I forgot that that was even a, a thing I was doing. Let me go do that actually today. I don't need to go to, uh, I just need to get some wood. Let me do that. 
I, I've talked about Rotten Mango because I like true crime podcasts. There's a lot wrong with true crime. All right. I know true crime has, has taken a hit from a lot of people lately. I'm just kind of like under under fire, just the true crime industry in general. And I definitely understand in a lot of cases because a lot of true crime, whatever, I'm getting distracted. I mean, this is not even what this is about. Okay. In one of the episodes of Rotten Mango. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. She talks about how there's this like woman who basically her whole life would have visions of things that would happen. Like since she was a child, like there were, I think the first thing was like, she was like, there's a, there's a dog trapped in that car. Like she was with her dad and she's like, there's a dog trapped in that car. Like get it out. And he's like, there's no, I don't see a dog. There's no dog. And she's like, trust me, trust me. There's a dog in there. He's going to die if we don't get him out. And so I think he like smashed the window or called the cops. I don't know, whatever. And there was a dog in there. I don't know how he didn't see it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the logistics, but she had seen that there was a dog in there. And then there's a bunch of other instances in her life where she'd be like basically predicting real crimes, like really specific details of crimes that did happen. Saw them and was able to like say what the person was wearing and like what happened, what, exactly what injuries. And then they'd find out like, yep, that night that's exactly what happened and then she's like okay well it's gonna happen twice again there's gonna be two more murders and the bodies are gonna be next to each other and like other specific details and like it happens exactly like that but then i see the skeptic in me is like well maybe those are just the time she guessed right like i wonder how many times she was like said something and then like nothing came of it but like the times you know a broken clock is right twice a day or whatever the saying is anyways in the case that they were talking about she like had such a vivid uh like vision of what happened and they were like able to kind of uh get information about who the murderer might be through it and it actually turned out to be the actual murder and i just think that's so like those are the things that i'm like i love just being like yeah what if like what if that'd be crazy like imagine just some people just for some reason have a little bit of a little special sauce you know and they could just something in the simulation allows them to see things wouldn't that be crazy i don't know where this is going but like do y'all like what are your thoughts on kind of like woo woo things like that and do you ever just like feel like turning off your brain and being like oh what if who knows you know could be i don't know we don't know maybe Sheila, stop it stop you don't like those even I'm trying to eat my salt and vinegar, vinegar chips i'm just clearing out areas i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna put stuff over it mm -hmm. what are we gonna do now huh oh we're gonna eat the crumbs okay it does make sense you are smart no hey <sighs> oh sometimes that works it didn't used to work with him. He had a he had a big boy energy. He had a king of the litter energy when he was younger. And I'd hiss at him and he'd just look at me like, yes. <laughs> and what? And now he does back up a bit. He does. The age is getting to you, Chila. Do I have to deliver these wood? Oh, I can just keep it. Okay. I just have to gather it. Alright, alright. Well, I can do that, ma'am. I can do that, mammy. Oh, Chila. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's the goal here, huh? He doesn't know either. Oh, maybe to sleep. Oh, please, please go to sleep, Gila. We're all begging. Oh, I realize I don't know. I always say this. I don't know how many of you watch the streams or don't watch the streams, but I was updating them on this weekend, but I didn't update y'all on this weekend. So let me sell stuff, get to bed, and then I will update y'all. Today's Pierre's birthday. Oh, and then we're ending spring. Spring, summer, fall, right? Oh, I like spring. It's always so nostalgic for me. Summer's kind of a weird one. I don't know how I feel about summer. It's weird how much the, the uh, seasons are aligning with the current seasons, though. What do y'all want? You want five coffee beans and you still want that thing? I do not have. Okay, let me bring some coffee beans. Aww, cute. I love them. I love my little fishies. Oh, okay. Almost forgot to update y'all. The panel was amazing. It was such a fun weekend. So Friday, was it Friday night? We got there and went down to Santana Row. They had like a dinner thing planned at Santana Row for all the creators, all the streamers, whatever. And it was like at this cute little, little like clubby type restaurant. Like it was a really, really nice, good 
restaurant, but it was like a club. Like it was, it was like the most interesting venue I'd ever been to. It was literally a bar mixed with a club mixed with a restaurant. And they had like a little section sectioned off for us. Red Bull did. And they like ordered us drinks and we could get like dinner. And people just were ordering up everything and we got like shots everybody was taking shots it was really fun it was very fun and it was nice just like get to know the other panelists before because i was so intimidated because everybody is so accomplished and have been streamers and in the industry for so long and i'm just like a little baby i've only been doing it for like a year and i mean a little over a year but it was a lot i was very intimidated so seeing everybody in person and some of them like actually knowing me it's so sweet it was so nice and it was yeah it was just nice to like be in a casual setting before the panel also if you want to watch the panel it's on your princess's twitch channel it's on her vods still if you want to watch it was so fun so we did that i went home early because i'm a grandma and where's the milk did i sell the milk or did i put it away i hope i didn't sell it like a dum dum Let's go get some more trees. Did I bring poo down here? My cat literally looks like she's struggling. Hi, baby. How are ya? Did I already love you today? Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Or you hate me. Either one. Um, yes, yeah, so the next day was the panel and I kind of slept in because I was super tired. Um, just from the week, I hadn't still hadn't really had a chance to like stop and slow down. I was tired, I kind of slept in and then spent the morning ready i'm trying to look real cute for the panel since we're gonna be on the front page of twitch oh is, is the music really loud oh i hope the music hasn't been blaring this whole time y'all oh boy well then i had a little breakfast i'm just giving y'all the exact lowdown <laughs> like my play by play of the weekend yeah we had a little breakfast we got to the venue and um i was like the first other creator there aside from your princess Jaden who was hosting and so she was like practicing her speech and we were talking and she was like really nervous and I was like I don't know if they're setting it up right so we were like talking to them about how they're like setting up the chairs and stuff what is this hello hi Ken I know you'd be passing through here today so I put together a surprise it's a little picnic for us that's so cute this is a vegetable medley which my with my special spice blend Leia, and this is a fresh salad made from greens that I foraged right here. Of course you did. Ken, um, I just want to say thank you for, look how cute she is, for helping me get one step closer to becoming a real artist. How did I do that? Oh, a little kissy, little spoochy. Oh, <gasps> am I getting in trouble? Oh, okay. Who are you? Who is that? Kel? Who the brick is Kel? Y'all, I have never in my life heard of this cutscene. Why has nobody talked about this? What the heck are you doing here? Didn't you see me at the art show? I came all the way from Zuzu City to see your sculptures and to get you to come back with me. I want things to go back the way they were, babe. I miss you, babe. Yuck, don't call me that. You never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me back? You make me sick. Yeah, Leia, ugh. Ooh, hey, come here. Punch Kel in the face, try reasoning with Kel. I feel like a lot of people would do punch Kel, so I doubt that there would be a negative consequence to it, but I feel like Leia's kind of a pacifist and would, wouldn't like if I punched Kel. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of my way. Oh, shoot. I should have punched Kel. Seriously, Leia, what are you doing out here with a simple-minded bumpkin? Now can I punch Kel? Aw, she punched Kel. See? I like that. Ken's a better person than you in every respect. Now get out of here and never come back. Look at him just slumped. Slumped, KO'd. Let's go, Ken. I don't think he'll be bothering us anymore. Thanks, Queen, for protecting us. Thank you. Thanks, Mama Leah. Let's find a more secluded spot this time. Wow. Where's Pooh? You made Pooh disappear. Um, hello, where's my Pooh? That was hilarious. I did not know that was a thing. Where's Pooh? Oh, over here. Did I walk down without poo? I swear I didn't. Maybe I did. That I've 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 never heard of that storyline. I love it. I'm I'm so proud of Leia. That makes me like Leia even more. What a girl boss, girly, independent, I N D E P E, and you know what it means. Um, independent girl boss. 
Oh, thank God. I think I had to come here because I would have forgotten. Super meal sounds good. I think I need some of those for... Um, I'm getting that because I need to sell it. Puzzle table. Hmm. I need a cave carrot to sell. And I'm going to need these for the volcano. Is what I was trying to say. Shout out uh, Leia. We love her. Leia might be better than... Uh, I can't say that. That's blasphemy. I was going to say Leia might be better than Harvey. I don't know. I don't know if I can abandon my Harvey like that. I don't know. I want to be like besties. Can we just... We can be a thruple. We can be a thruple. They're just going to have to accept it. I think they'd like it. I feel like they'd like each other enough. Anyways, to go back to the weekend. So the first panel started and we watched it and I was so nervous because I was like, they're doing so great. And then we went on and you know what? I wasn't even nervous. I was like a little bit nervous when I sat down, but usually when I like public speak, not usually, like when I was in college or whatever, I would like be shaking in my boots, like voice quivering like near panic attack shaking in my boots and i didn't feel that way i felt very comfortable and i was i was very proud of myself and i think it's just one of those things of like talking about something that you know and you love and it's just like coming from the heart it's probably easier to talk about than like i don't know a presentation that you don't care about so it's fun and then after that we had like the ama panel and it was all of us and we got to like ask each other questions and stuff and it was very fun and it was very empowering and it was very like women supporting women and commiserating over some things and then also just like celebrating the wins of everybody and it was great did i meet my thing yet yes yes okay good oh it's piers it's piers birthday when did i get a secret note hello Oh, okay. Just some likes. We already know those. We cheat. All right. Was today Piers? Or is that tomorrow? No, it's today. How how friendly am I with him? Ooh, not very, huh? Well, I don't really care. What will his friendship get us, really? Besides some more creepy phone calls from him. Shirtless. I don't want it. Now we have hella wood for nothing. But tomorrow are... Tomorrow are... What? Why is my br my brain is off today? I think what happened I, it, it's taken me so long to just tell just recap the weekend because my brain is is off and I think it's just I still haven't recovered from this this past week. Um, so yeah, I still haven't had a break and my brain feels like it's fried and my family comes tomorrow for the rest of the week. Um, so I yeah, I'm just not really gonna have that break. So hopefully the following week maybe we'll see. Oh, new type of chest. Stone chest? What's a stone chest for? Now that you have all those resources, why not swing by for some construction work? Stone chest? What does a stone chest do, babe? Oh, I don't get it. I don't even see it. I do not see it. Maybe I have to go get the recipe from her. Anyways, you see I still haven't finished the weekend story because, again, my brain's fried. I was like dead tired after the last panel because I hadn't eaten like all day, which was my bad. I just like forgot. I was nervous, so I like didn't even, people were like, do you want to eat? I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll eat after. But I should have eaten. So I was like dying and had a headache after and I was like, I want to go to sleep immediately. Um, but then two cozy friends, two cozy family members came and that made like my entire day. I got to meet two people and it was like, it was unreal. I, it was just like, uh, what's it called? Like an out of body experience where it's like, and, and one of them watches the, these playthroughs. Hi, <laughs> thanks for coming. It's just one of those things of like, oh man, like I literally do this for a reason. I do this because there's like people in the community and in our family that care and they show up you know when it's important and they show up for me and i show up for them and i just it made me very emotional and very happy and i appreciate y'all that are just here and supportive and find comfort in this space enough to keep showing up and i appreciate that and i really appreciate the two people that came to visit because it really really motivates me and makes me feel you know like i'm doing this for a reason and i have i have cozy friends here always and that was really nice and it was cool just to, like put a face to a name that you see a lot what am i doing i need to put something in here yeah just just great some great people 
very appreciative. And so that like made my day. I was like, okay, I feel better. I can, I can get through, <laughs> I can survive. And then I just went home. I know we went, we got food, then went home and I like passed out. I think I finished or put on like Love is Blind Japan and I fell asleep, but finished it technically. <gasps> Yes, they're all done. Oh, yes. Okay, finally. Yeah, then I got up, went home, and streamed. And then, that was that yesterday? What is it today? Is it Monday today? Yeah. Yeah, streamed, and then hung out, and it was good. It was a really good weekend. Like, thinking about it makes me emotional, almost, because it was just so nice. And it's like, dang, I get to, I get to do such cool things and, like, push the boundaries of like what I think I'm capable or like ever thought I was capable of doing like speaking in a panel what the hell who would have ever thought me qualified or like interesting enough or whatever to speak in a panel but like doing it makes you go yeah I, I do deserve to be here and that was fun and I can do things like this and I don't know it's just a lesson in like always pushing your comfort zone and like always staying consistent with things because you never know where it's going to bring you and that was definitely one of those <laughs> moments because I even a year ago like not even before I started doing content but like even a year ago when I was still fresh starting content I literally would have never thought that I would be speaking in a panel and being like you know everything having people that I always see in comments and dms and stuff like come visit I would have never thought I would have never thought and it's so cool just another another mama Ken lesson and following passions because genuinely you never know where things are gonna take you and those places where it takes you can be so wildly different from like what you think you actually want to like if somebody asked me would you want to speak on a panel and you know whatever I would be like no I would never want to do that what the heck no I'm what but I had so much fun I would do it again and so consistency never say no all that I have so many ancient fruit now what do I do what do I do oh my goodness what are they so that was that. And then because, because it's in the pan. I don't like, I don't like, um, oh no. <laughs> I don't like the idea of like some of the people that watch my stuff getting certain information and others not, especially with y'all because I share a lot of things and feelings with y'all. But so I am seeing somebody. I know, I know. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm putting my foot down this time. I'm putting my foot down. I'm busy with my animals. Kids over everything. Sometimes you have to sacrifice. You have to make sacrifices. And today is one of those days where I make a sacrifice and I focus on my children instead of, you know, chasing, chasing empty promises such as trains that never give me anything ever. All right. Just had to get that out. Just had to justify being in literally the farthest place I could be from the train and not going. Anyways, y'all, yes, I'm seeing somebody and I know some of you are like, I don't care, what, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not gonna give a, not gonna give a hoot. But a lot of you have like been through the very big, like the end of my my prior relationship and, and have been through me, you know, having realizations about relationships and personal growth and stuff and so, I like keeping you abreast of things, especially when it's like a really important thing in my life that like I want to talk about, you know, like I, I like find myself stopping talking about it just because I don't know, there's like some things I want to keep private for a while and then, but I'm like, oh, but I want to talk about it because it's like so much a part of my life right now. Anyways, I'm seeing somebody and the, the reason why it's like been shared with my general community is that during the panel, if you watch the VOD, they were there with me this weekend. And during the, the panel, the host Jaden was like, the host Jaden was like, oh my gosh, like you're balancing, um, you know, a work this and you have a relationship. Like, that's so crazy. And I was like, <laughs> wow, thank you. For sh thank you so much for sharing that. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is, and I am, at the end of the day, I'm, like, very excited about it and, like, happy to share it, but it's just one of those things where it was kind of, like, a personal thing I wasn't planning to share for a while, so even after that, I was like, all right, it's fine, like, how many people in my community really saw that? And then, during stream, somebody came into my chat and was like, oh, yeah, I was sitting behind, uh, your boyfriend, like, he's handsome or whatever, and... 
like didn't say anything else the entire time. Like he literally came into chat just to say that and then didn't just left, just peaced out and left. I'm like, thank you for dropping that one little factoid and, and dipping. And so um, that was shared with stream. <laughs> Therefore my uh, wider community and yeah, so now I feel weird being like fake about it, but yes, I am seeing somebody. Uh, I am taking it slow, which is part of the reason why. Like, I don't think I'm like special and I'm like, oh my God, I have to like keep this from from the people, the, the public, because it's, I want my privacy. Like, no, it's not that. It's just like, I have been somebody and I've talked about this, who's like jumped into things too quickly. And I like was very clear with this person super early on that like, I wanted to be really intentional about taking things slow and like not defining things and like giving each other space and allowing things to like progress because we both wanted to and not because it felt like that was the thing to do or because like we were you know just in each other's faces all the time so that it again it just like felt like the thing to do um like a, a natural pro progress of things or whatever and because that's how all my past relationships went and it never ended well either because like I moved too quickly to like stop and see the qualities in the person that like I was not compatible with or like it just kind of like burned out too quickly because we didn't learn how to like create boundaries and like give each other space and stuff like that. Yeah, so I was just like very intentional about not wanting to do that this time around and trying to do it the right way and a slow way. And so it's been like over two months of just like like a very consistent pace. And I've been like very intentional about keeping it at that pace and like intentional about like not labeling things and not, you know, like still still being very transparent with each other and like this is what we want this is how i feel about you this is where i want it to go but like not putting pressure on things because then it just does the thing that i just talked about you know move it. oh i got a rabbit's foot awesome nice um i'm i'm idling here where's poo oh i think i lost poo oh no and i have milk i need to put away i'm distracted flustered anywho that was really the only reason that i wanted to keep things private was because on my end as well it was very like let's not have things be pushed a certain direction just because that's where the weight of things are going if that makes sense like i want it fully because i know that i want it and i know that i'm sure about this person besides like any other factors yeah it has been a while and i, I definitely feel like it's at a point where i'm like very confident in knowing that i do like I care about this person a lot and yeah i'm very happy and excited to see where it goes and excited to update y'all on it but that's about it those are the personal life updates but yeah basically um my relationship was hard launched <laughs> hard launched without my consent <laughs> uh this weekend which is totally okay because it was about that time anyways so oh dang i didn't go to robin's shoot Shootles. And I need to find Emily. I was yapping, y'all. I was distracted and yapping. Um, what does Emily like? She's gonna be at the saloon, which is nice. Will she be at the saloon on her birthday? Will she be working on her birthday? Let me see what she likes. Oh, she likes amethyst. We have plenty of amethyst. Ooh, also, y'all, Rune Factory 5 comes out this week. It'll come out Tuesday, so it will already have come came out. Came out. It will already have came out. It will, it will already have come out. There we go. But I'm very excited. Uh, the developer sent it over to me in this cute little package. If you see on my Instagram and what else did I post on my Twitter? They put they included all these cute little things like a little a little case and little cookies, a phone charger that says Rune Factory, like one of the standing ones, you know. And then the game, of course, and this like really nice game. Damn, she is here on her birthday, girly. Why are you working on your birthday, girl? Come on, girl. Hi, Leia. Or snip soup. Okay, why not? Let's go give Leia salad. Hey, babe. You're so welcome. How are we doing, Marnie? <gasps> the beloved farmer! Why are we besties, Gus? Gus, are we besties? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight! Okay, we have ten hearts with eight people. <gasps> wow! Wait, I wanna look at the other, um, the other achievements. Complete museum collection, that's gonna piss me off. Cook 10 different recipes, y'all, we should do that. Craft every item, we could do that too. Catch every fish, I don't know about that. 
I just want to know. Complete 40 help wanted. Ship 15 of each crop? Damn. Ship 300 of one crop ship every item. Okay, that's like the last uh, relationship one. So we really actually don't have to focus on relationships if we don't want to, because we we got it. Ship 15 of each crop. That's gonna be so annoying to figure out how many I've shipped 15 of and how many I haven't. Okay, cook 10 recipes. Let's go do that. What the hell? I feel like we're close. We've cooked like f definitely like five things so far. What else? What else was I talking about? I was talking about the weekend. I was talking about achievements and then I was talking about relationships. I guess those are all my my updates. My personal life updates. Have any of y'all had a relationship change recently? Either either way. Sometimes uh becoming single can be good and, and a new opportunity and and fun. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll I'll bite. I'll be it sad, is what I was trying to say. Ooh, okay, let's do fried mushrooms. Let's bake some cookies. Let's bake pancakes. Let's bake, I think we're ready to sashimi. Let's do blueberry tarts. Yay, we did it. Okay, perfect. That was easy. Tomorrow we can get our stuff from Clint. And then, are there any other achievements we can like work towards or no oh maybe we can go through these and try and sell sell stuff because we're really not far off let's do that tomorrow i'm down to do that because my main goal here is 100 percent. so i don't money whatever i don't my main goal is 100 percent completion once we get 100 percent completion we're done that's the end of the series as much as i don't want the series to be over i gotta focus on our goal y'all Let's do animals first, because this could take a while. Also, uh, relationship AMA. I know now that now that I'm like talking about it, I'm like, I can't stop talking about it. But for anybody who has any any questions about it, I guess. Relationship AMA, I'll answer it next time. Is my watering can really not or was it and I didn't pick it up? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me focus. I'm gonna do animals, I'm gonna go to cleanse, I'm gonna go to the traveling cart, and then I'm and then I'm <clears throat> shipping stuff all day it's a shipment day forget that i don't care about that my poor gates my poor fencing is deteriorating you don't have enough hay i'm getting enough hay over here okay now baby jesus is all grown up now baby jesus ain't baby baby jesus name baby jesus no more is he no baby jesus is around here around these parts he's a full grown jeebus Oh, but more about Rune Factory. Um, I don't know if y'all have played it, but I actually have never played it. And I've had so many people recommend it because obviously it's like one of the cozy games in the same general farming, whatever life sim type thing. And I don't know how I never played it, but I'm really excited to try the new one. And oh my God. And they're also sending this like massive, I don't even know how I'm gonna get it in my car because my car is tiny. They're sending this massive um, plushy stuffy. And they were like, before we send it to you, we need to make sure that you know how big it is. So you know what you're agreeing to. And they sent a picture of like the scale. <laughs> And it was clearly like a manufacturer's picture because the person was like, yeah, I don't even really understand how big it is. So I'm really curious to see once you get it in. But the, the thing was like literally as big as the woman, like she was holding it and it was as big as her. Um, and it's just like a cute little animal from Rune Factory. And I'm so excited. I don't know where I'm gonna put it y'all. I don't have room, but I'm so excited. Can't wait to show y'all. Let's go Clinty boy. Yay, yeah, that means it was done yesterday. Process my dang geodes already. Dang, I should have brought iridium. <gasps> is that new? Whoa, is that new? That's not new. That ain't new either. All right, come on. Classic geode, of course, it's gonna give us nothing. Okay, that's great. I wanted a golden walnut, but that's okay. We got those, buddy. And we got those. All right, was that everything? Yeah, okay. Not the best, Clint, not the best. But let me see, I think at least one of these. Ah, dang, not that one. Okay, well, we got one, we got one. One new one per day is all we can ask for, really. Look at that, we really don't have that many left. We literally have, can I organize? How do I organize again? Dang it. Okay, well, we have, It's what is this? One, two, three, four, five. What's eight times two? 16? 16 plus one, two, three, four, five. 21, I'm just gonna go with that. We have 21-ish, around 20, okay. <sighs> Things left to find. 
And we're done with that. But where do we find them and how? We've been searching for them so long. <laughs> so long we've been searching. We've gotten Rusty Spoon after Rusty Spoon. We've gotten Ancient Doll after Ancient Doll. We've gotten stupid tibias. I'm tired. I'm tired of this grandpa. Copper bar on a chain, girl. Oh, I need to do that because let me do that. <laughs> let me do that because my ass needs to get 40 requests done and I don't even think I'm even close to that at all. Y'all know I do not be doing the requests ever. I look at them and go, no, I'm not doing that. Cause they're all fishing ones. I don't want to do fishing ones. We might be able to still make it to, what's his name's to make this watering can to upgrade it. All right, let's try, let's try. I don't know where Pooh is, I lost Pooh. I think I left him by Clint's. I'm sorry, Pooh. We didn't go to Ginger Island at all. I'm kind of proud because I was hyper fixating on it for sure There's Pooh, oh, I'm glad. Okay, this worked out perfectly. All right, amazing. Then we'll have nothing left after the trash can. I don't even think we need copper for the trash can. We must, we must need copper for it. All right, Caroline, it's a Sunday, where are you? Oh, she's right there. It was Caroline, right? Yes, okay. Thanks, girlfriend. Damn, 40 requests. Oh my God, oh my God, I forgot the big task for today. Shipping things, come on, girl. Dilly dallying. Let's go ship, okay. I might have to see you on the other side here, possibly. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go through these and, and put them in my inventory and I will see. What is this? Y'all, I might, I might need some help with these that I'm not getting. I'll, I'll, re I'll regroup after. You gotta tell me what the things are. It's like, it's like a, who's that Pokemon? But with crops. Thank you. Ugh, none of these are gonna change until tomorrow. All right. I really wanna see what is left. We got that, we got this, and then we got this. I have no idea what that is. It's in the like, like fall? Kale, maybe kale? I not shipped kale yet. What, and then is that amaranth? Poppy, poppy. I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, duck egg, kale, amaranth, poppy. I want to look it up. Oh, I keep forgetting to go to Robin's. Okay, next time, ooh, all those bombs. Next time I need to see about getting either poppy or amaranth. Let me just look right now if that's a summer thing. Oh, right, amaranth is fall. Oh, bok choy. No, I think I've sold bok choy. Cauliflower, is that what it could be? Sweet gemberry, maybe? I don't know. Poppy is summer. Okay, perfect. We'll do poppies up here. <laughs> poppies up here. And we'll do, we'll go to Robin, see what she has for us construction wise. And that is it, folks. Thank you for listening to my long ass stories, long winded, deep dives into nothing that matters at all. <laughs> um, I, and I'm not just being self deprecating because a lot of the time we deep dive into stuff that does matter. But today it was, I was really just rambling about nothing. Thank you. Um, again, Again, AMAs in the comments, but also let me hear any updates you've got. I'll see you next week, and I love you. Stay cozy. Cheers. Bloop. And happy star doing. Stay cozy. Bye.